Beijing. The tones, Beijing. It's been a learning experience for everyone involved. Uh, the first like two weeks, I think a lot of us in the class are like, "Oh my gosh!" But... Okay, question. Where am I from? Li Tingjiao arrived at Marion High School less yeah, than two right. months ago. Yeah, it's been a really learning process to be a high school teacher. I have this is my very first time teach high school. How long? The first time high school teacher is instructing Marion's first Mandarin course. Mandarin Chinese is the fastest growing language in the world. Marion High School principal Susie Sullivan says it was a no-brainer to add it to her school's curriculum. We had actually several parents who were interested in it. We also knew our Latin teacher was going to retire at some point in time. Sullivan says knowing Mandarin can translate into more career and business opportunities. She is happy to see interest from the girls. They were very excited, but it, it, I think they're surprised maybe a little bit by how difficult it is. The students agree. Would you say this is probably your hardest class? Right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it definitely is. Their teacher knows it too. You really find Mandarin is just so, so different from other languages. Two students dropped the class after a few weeks because of the difficulty. And I feel character is easier than tones for you guys, right? Yeah. yeah. But 10 girls decided to stick it out, including senior Samantha Fabian, who spent four weeks at Old Miss over the summer in a Chinese immersion program. The stuff that we're learning now is just um, refresher, but once we get further on down the road, I think it's going to be a little more challenging, but also a little more fun. No. Shan. Shan. I think we got one. The girls agree no matter their skill level, their teacher is going at their pace. And a little challenge never hurt anyone. I think the more languages you know, the more opportunities you get. And I don't know anyone that knows Mandarin, so I think there's a lot of opportunities available if you take it. Emily Zink, 3 News Now. Principal Susie Sullivan says they will offer Mandarin 2 next year to fulfill the girls' language requirements for college. And on Thursday, we'll show you a public Mandarin class offered for much younger kids. Can't wait to see.